I'm Kat Albrecht with Missing Pet Partnership and I'm here doing uh, a training for you on the use of Hemadent. Uh, Hemadent uh, is used, it's a presumptive identification blood test. Uh, it's used in law enforcement when they come across a crime scene and they find a, a stain and they use it to confirm whether or not a stain is even blood. Um, we're, we use it within lost pet investigations when, for example, I've worked in a case before where I came across a set of skid marks and then a stain on the ground and I didn't know if that stain was oil or you know, something else in the roadway or blood. Um, uh, also, I worked a case once where a woman's cat was missing. She thought that maybe a coyote had gotten a cat and she found a stain in, her, uh, in front of her house on a, and she lived on a cul-de-sac. She wanted to know if my dog could come out and, and uh, alert on, you know, my dog was trained on animal decomposition and if my dog would indicate that whether the stain was blood or not. And I did take my dog out there, my dog did indicate it was blood and then we did find that the cat had been killed uh, by a coyote. We did find a portion of the cat. Um, I didn't know at the time that this would have been available to me. Again, used in law enforcement to determine if a stain is blood, we can use it as pet detectives also to determine if a stain is blood. So I was going to demonstrate it to you when, as we were filming an, another segment here on the use of luminol, we discovered, uh, I, I just looked in front of where I'm sitting and I discovered that there is blood here on one of the doors in the um, storage locker where we're at here. So we're actually going to move over here and I'm going to demonstrate the use of hemodent and I, I believe that these stains on this door are blood and we're going to find that out right now. So. I will show you how to do that. And, and again, I suspect it's blood just by the, the spatter pattern right there, the way that somebody likely cut themselves while putting something in here. Um, we have another test and that would be hexagon, which I will also test on a different video that will tell us whether or not, if, if this tests positive for blood, we'll do another test to determine if it's human blood or animal blood. I'm betting this is human blood just because of where it is. We're in a storage locker. So here's your instructions. I'll move my evidence kit over here in order to set my instructions down. So to use the hemodent, it's used to confirm that a stain is, is blood, whether it's blood or not. So you're going to want to wear gloves and only uh, perform this in a ventilated area, <laughs> which this is not. But for the purposes of this, I'm going to perform the test right here. We're going to be fine. So step one is pull the cardboard cap away from the glass tube like that. You're going to open a pure wrap cotton swab, which I forgot to bring one of those out. So pure wrap cotton swab. You have the instructions or the order information uh, in your uh, missing pet partnership training manual um, that tells you how and where to order all of these products. All right, so you have, we have the ampule and we have the cotton swab. Pull the pure cotton swab. Gently rub the surface of the suspected blood stain um, it, you may moisten the swab with distilled water if the suspected blood is dry. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have some distilled water right here. Uh, the other thing is there is distilled water that comes in one of the kits. Let me see if I have some. Um, this is a great test to run if you're on a case. Like I said, if you come across um, if you come across a stain, and let me just try to do this while, nope, that's the wrong one. So I will just go ahead and utilize my distilled water right here. You will want to carry some distilled water probably in your car. Maybe not so much on the floor there. All right, so I'm going to dip the swab in the distilled water. And I'm going to test the stain right here. I'm going to make sure that I get it enough of it on here. I'll actually pull from another stain as well. Now, in law enforcement, if this was a homicide case, they would actually only pull from one 
they would mark one stain and not intermingle two different stains, but we're not investing a hom get, investigating a homicide. Okay, you gently rub the surface, swab the bulb, maybe moisten with distilled water. Break off the wooden swab shaft as close to the base of the cotton as possible. So I want to, with, with my gloves, but without touching the cotton area of the swab, I want to break off the wooden part. The point is I'm trying to make it as small as possible and not taint it by dropping it on the ground. Break off the wooden, uh, okay, if the stick end is too long, it won't uh, allow the cap to close. Insert the swab bulb into the tube, so put it in like that and then push it down as far as possible. Now there's an ampule in this end here that's preventing it from going any further. Place the cardboard cap carefully over the tube, like that. So now I have the cardboard end, the end that has the chemical in it, and the cotton swab in the middle. Break the bottom ampule, the one that is not encased in cardboard, by gently squeezing. So I'm going to do that like that, and it, you heard it pop and break, and you can see that it broke there. It may turn into a brownish color. Break the second ampule, the one encased in cardboard, by gently squeezing. Come on. There we go. Okay, so no, now both have broken. If the stain drop is mammal blood, the swab and solution will turn a blue-green in a few seconds. It is capable of identifying down to one part per million of blood. We'll have to give it a few minutes here. This test does not distinguish between human and animal blood. Laboratory analysis or use of hexagon are necessary to determine whether the stain is blood, human or animal blood. Dispose of promptly. Okay, now I don't know if you can see it, but you can see that it is turning a bluish green color in the area where the stain is. So it is blood. So it's telling us it's mammal blood. If I had tested this, in fact, I could even test this right now on something else, but it would not turn blue-green. But the fact it's turned blue-green blue is telling me that the spots here, uh, as I suspected, are blood and not ketchup. So, all right, so that ends. Okay, so he's telling, my cameraman is telling me to sh bring this in and show you that it is a bluish green in color. So that, again, this is a useful tool for you to determine if you have a stain on a case, whether or not it's blood. Um, I'll show on a different video, I'll do a testing to determine whether it's human blood or animal blood. So.